Hey Arlington Heights, Adam Harris here, your communications coordinator. It's just before winter break, but we got a bunch of news flowing here at Dryden. I'm with Abby, and she's got, what is that called? The Grampus Gazette. Grampus Gazette, and it's her self-made, self-published newspaper that she's doing um, here at Dryden. So Abby, tell me why it's the Grampus Gazette. I call it the Grampus Gazette because I knew that the, the word Gazette existed by reading the Geronimo Stilton book somewhere around first grade. Uh, and I decided that I really liked that and I would have to have something ending with Gazette. So I searched up synonyms for a dolphin and it turns out there's a kind of dolphin called a Grampus. So I decided to just use that. That's a great name. All right, so, all right. Oh, Even well, though yeah, go ahead. it's not exactly the same kind of dolphin as our school mascot, that I believe is a bottlenose dolphin. But it's still in the dolphin yeah, family, right? So that works. All right, so how often do you come out with this newspaper? What sort of work do you put into it? How do you assign it? You know, like, what, what goes into this? So we're supposed to do it once a month. Mm -hmm. And um, I try to make it very friendly and bouncy. Because um, I know, I've read adult newspapers, and I know that there's a lot of bad stuff going on. Mm -hmm. I decided that I want something for kids that won't treat them like they're like babies, but will make them feel known and won't be too just creating an atmosphere where everything is perfect. So we're not, right. we're not ac acknowledging bad things happen, but we're saying that we can do things to stop it, and it's, it doesn't really affect us that much right now. I, I, I think that's an amazing concept for a newspaper. I think that it's, didn't come out right, but you know really? what I really mean. I, <laughs> I think I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay, so so what sort of articles are in your newspaper? So um, we don't have any gossip, of course. Uh, of course not. We're talking about, sometimes we do connections with other schools, such as stories made by fourth graders good enough for sixth graders. Oh, that's cool. Um, stories made by fourth graders good enough for sixth graders. I like that. We also talked about a uh, Miss Hart recently got married. He's now Mrs. Stanhope. So she there's like there's like news from the school, yeah. right? Yeah. And she was my teacher years ago. She was really nice, so I decided to write about that. That's awesome. A lot of the teachers like that article. And what else you got? You got you got some poems um, in there. You have yeah, a got no. Wrote, you have a, you have an advice column, right? Yep, we've got an advice column. That's cool. Um, because there's, I just decided that that would be pretty cool. Here, show them that page. Um. Okay. Yeah. It's in the additional columns section. The additional columns section. There's an additional You're turning section. a lot of pages here. Yeah. You put this out monthly? Yep. And who contributes to, to writing it? Different students and stuff? Yep. All of them are in my class. Yeah. They're all in your class. This is the advice column. So you're like an assignment editor and a publisher, and you've got reporters that are writing for you. The advice columnist is also the managing editor because I always had so much to do, so I would just sit on the computer typing, and Isabella would be like, okay, everyone, um, who wants this job? And I'd be just saying there, some people thought that it was her newspaper. And I'm like, well, that's okay to think so. She's kind of my boss in a way. Yeah, because she's managing the content, chief. right? Yeah, I mean, you have, you, have a, you, have a, you have a news editorial room running in your classroom, don't you? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, let's see the comic. You got a comic? Yep. Is there anything else you want people to know about your newspaper? Um, well, again, I'm saying there's a kindergarten section for the kindergartners, but yeah. I knew how to read in kindergarten. I had taught myself to read during preschool. Um, and I decided that I didn't really learn a lot during my kindergarten because we were... Like, the, the videos would just say, this is a comma. I'm like, I read Magic Treehouse books already. I know what a comma you is. You already know what that is. So I put a notice in saying that if the kindergartner knows how to read, then they're allowed to read the rest of the newspaper. They don't have to just do the activities on the kindergarten section. Um, we include a lot of word definitions and information from around the world because we want to this to be very educational. Yeah. Um, see what you got look, there. Here's definition of capricious. I put this in. Um, I thought you should find. I thought you finally decided we should spend our vacation in Europe. The wife is going around with Hawaii brochures. Oh. But determined by impulse or chance rather than necessity. Capricious. I think you're incredible. <laughs> Yeah, of course. I think I think what you've done is awesome. I love journalism. You know, that's what I majored in, broadcast journalism. 
And so I used to work in radio, and I really respect journalism, and I think that you're doing a great job Maybe. showing it off here at Dryden. You want to say goodbye to everyone now? Okay, sure. All right, ready? Uh, Hasta la vista. I won't be here much longer a day after this, but... Why? Remember St. Louis? I'm oh, going yeah, tomorrow. She's, oh, right? she's going tomorrow. Okay, sorry, yeah. So then we'll see you when you get back. Yep. Okay, cool. See ya. Bye.